So hello, Antoine speaking. Um, today I will present you a little things we've done uh, for a customer that is having artery simulations. Uh, and uh, we'd like to visualize uh, the data from the artery uh, on the center line of the artery. So uh, first of all, we load uh, the artery um, volume and simulation. So this is a fluent case, uh, .cis.dit um, result. You read so that's our geometry and the volume is uh, contained inside. I quickly turn on translucency so we can see it through it. And um, I also um, turn up this bounding box here. So uh, second, like we, second thing we'll do, we'll um, load that center line. So this is just a CSV table, as you can see. Um, so it's basically the coordinates of the center line and uh, for each point. So to load such a file very quickly, uh, we'll just click open and here we'll choose uh, the TechPad data loader that handles CSV pretty well. So here it is, we'll just choose append data to active frame. So we want to add the data to uh, what has been loaded already. And uh, it will ask us to match the three variables that are available in our CSV uh, with the three ones that are already existing in the um, data set here, uh, namely XYZ, so just the coordinates. Hitting combine, uh, we'll see that we have uh, those uh, variables that have been combined, and we'll just click OK, and that's loaded. So um, if we look into our data set info, here we have a new zone. Let's say 1,951 points, and um, this is the center line. So here we just call it center line. Um, to visualize it, what we can do, we can turn up the mesh for every uh, volume and surface zone, and uh, activate the mesh layer. So here we just have the layer that correspond to the center line, that's that black line in the middle, and, uh, and this is it. So uh, this is a very basic uh, loading of the data and just to present the data itself. Uh, what we will do now, um, so first requirement was to plot um, again the distance along the um, center line to plot the pressure uh, on that center line. So first thing we'll do, uh, we'll go to data interpolate inverse distance. We'll choose the fluid and we'll just take the pressure in that case and we'll interpolate that to the center line. Click interpolate, takes a few tens of seconds, and, um, and here it is. So now we have the uh, pressure um, of the volume that has been interpolated on the center line, and we'll be able to plot it. Um, however, we want it against the distance, so we need to compute the distance along that center line. To do that, we did a little macro here. It's called distance versus pressure. Um, and just by clicking open, here we go. Uh, we have the distance along the center line against the pressure at each of these points. Um, so this is just a uh, little example here, so you can uh, just uh, probe to get some precise value, should you wish. <coughs> a second requirement from our customer was to uh, basically being able to um, define a slice perpendicular to the center line at a given point. And uh, to do that, uh, we also wrote a little macro, so um, here I'll just play it, it's quite easy. So slices and center line. And uh, you need to enter the index then. So here we have 1950 points, so we can just take uh, the middle, somewhere in the middle, clicking OK. And uh, you have the possibility to extract that slice as a zone. Um, here I will, uh, I will not do that, for example. And uh, here I just have a um, little slice that has been created, and as you can see, it's been created perpendicularly uh, to the center line. Uh, this is a pressure color, a contour color, and um, if you want to extract the slice, well, uh, what you can do, you can just go to data, um, extract current slices, you will get it as a zone. Um, and the advantage of it, it's been defined here as an arbitrary slice, so you can see um, its origin but also um, it's a um, normal vector and uh, you can eventually rotate it if you want. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, macros are available, we ship them to you if you want to use them. Uh, don't hesitate to write us at uh, info at geniuscoregraphics.de
bigger. <laughs> so thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day. Bye bye.